Okay. <laughs> Today's fanfic is an absolute doozy. An atrocious atrocity. Of all atrocious atrocities. I mean, it takes place between Patrick and Spongebob, so... Enough said. <laughs> Makes me want to cover Spongebob's eyes and, like, ears the whole time. <laughs> okay, so let the cataclysmic devastation to our childhoods begin. Alright? Hang in there, Spongebob. Hang in there. Okay, get your barf bags ready. <laughs> your barf buckets. Your container of choice. <sighs> Spongebob has a hard time taking his eyes off the beautiful gelatinous jelly rolls that make up Patrick's gorgeous pink body. It's so tempting to run his fingers over each delicate fat fold, so enticing that it steals every ounce of his attention. <laughs> but instead of acting out on his growing desires, he has to keep his hands to himself, pretending to listen to whatever it is that Patrick's talking about. Patrick's never been one for words, but oh man is he something to look at. Okay, Patrick. To each their own, I guess. After another minute or so, Patrick says he needs to leave to go feed his pet rock. See you at Jellyfish Fields, he says, turning to leave. Spongebob blushes as he watches Patrick and all his thickness sashay away, his hand burning with the urge to slap that massive, voluptuous ass of his. But they're just friends. Just friends. And although Patrick is to starve Spongebob's wildest dreams, he wouldn't want to ruin their friendship, but oh man, does he want a piece of that star cake. Later. Spongebob watches in awe as Patrick's flabby arm swings to and fro, the jellyfish neck clutched tightly in his strong, manly hand. Does he have hands? Are those considered hands? Oh, how Spongebob wishes Patrick would grab onto him with that same force and determination. Spongebob tries to put the same amount of focus into catching jellyfish, but how can he when the ocean's most breathtaking creature now runs in panted circles around the field, his voluptuous body mass jiggling about in a way that makes Spongebob drool? It doesn't help that Patrick's always shirtless, making Spongebob unable to distract himself from the thought that pure bliss and ecstasy is only one pant layer of clothing away. There isn't a number high enough to pinpoint how many times Spongebob has gazed longingly at the gorgeous green and pink floral print of those pants. Tongue twister. <laughs> it feels as if it's almost being burned into his retinas forever. You sure hope so. SpongeBob! Patrick bellows, guffawing as he tries to unentangle himself from the net that he somehow managed to get stuck on his head. Here, let me help, buddy, SpongeBob says, his shoes squeaking with sweat as he makes his way toward him. It's so hard not to moan as he touches the bumpy skin of Patrick's bald head while he works to free the net from it. It's so tempting for him to run his fingers over the pink, fleshy skin. So tempting his hands shake. Throughout the course of their jellyfishing, the only thing Spongebob catches are more feelings. <laughs> Especially when they head down to the Krusty Krab afterwards for some lunch, where Spongebob gets the supreme honor of watching Patrick stuff his face with ten Krabby Patties. But Spongebob doesn't eat, craving nothing more than the gelatinous beauty that continues to gobble the array of food right before his starstruck eyes. The hardest part of the day is when they both decide to sit in their tree fort, so close together that their feet touch. Oh, how Spongebob wishes other parts of them would touch instead. Ew. <laughs> Patrick begins digging in his belly button, the resulting intoxicating aroma filling the confined space. <laughs> Ew. Spongebob almost becomes dizzy from how deeply he's sniffing the tantalizing musty scent. And he wants that smell all over him. Everywhere. In all his nooks and crannies and holes. Afterwards, Patrick insists on paying Squidward a visit, even though Spongebob is enjoying being alone with just the two of them. Then again, he already knows Squidward will want nothing to do with them, so there's really no chance of gaining a third wheel in that way. They both sneak around the side of Squidward's house, the sound of Patrick's goofy giggling like music to the sponge's eager ears. He wishes he could record that beautiful sound and play it over and over again as he falls to sleep. Or even better, to fall asleep to the real, in-person sound itself. <sighs> Maybe one day. As expected, Squidward tells him to get lost. <laughs> so they both head back to Spongebob's house. Spongebob making sure he lags behind just enough to get a look at that gorgeous backside of Patrick's. <laughs> when their day together has concluded, Spongebob bids a sorrowful goodbye debating whether he should lean in for a hug or not. 
Because while this day has followed the course of many others before it, Spongebob likes to view it more so as an unofficial date of sorts. He wishes Patrick would see it the same way. Good night, Spongebob! Patrick bellows as he turns to leave. Good night, the sponge says softly. Then to himself, Good night, you beautiful hunk of a starfish. One day you'll be mine. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be a tough one to scrub from my memory. <laughs> Ugh, why'd they have to do Spongebob and Patrick like that? They're just buddies. They're just good little buddies. I think it's just so gross because Spongebob as a character just- He's just like not interested at all in relationships. So going to this extent is just so foreign and everything else. <laughs> Thank goodness he was short, right? You know, short and sweet. Minus the sweet part, of course. Or maybe sweet in the sense of, you know, that sweet smell that accompanies a rotting body. You know, that kind of level of sweet. And it's funny how a story that like technically has like no smut in it is so- it makes you feel so dirty afterwards. <laughs> it's like nothing even happened, it was just his thoughts were so gross and his- and the descriptions in here were atrocious as well. <laughs> okay, well there's that. You're very welcome. Childhood ruined, free of charge. <laughs> Ugh. These keep getting worse and worse. 